Alright guys, so we're here on the Columbia River and uh, just caught a nice fish on a prawn setup that I figured I'd show you addicts out there how we rig up. First off, I prefer like a tough line or a power pro either 50 or 65 pound. A small swivel followed by some bumper beads and a bead chain. Uh, the sliding setup allows me to net a fish that the weight drop might have accidentally got caught in the net or any other uh, small disaster that could happen when you have a fish on. I'll use a little duo snap for quick attachment and quick changing of the length of the leader and then same thing with the lead as well. Like I said, it's a sliding setup, bead chain. Um, and then I run a 40 pound Maxima Ultra Green bumper between the bead chain and your flasher. Um, the 40 pound here allows that when the leader catches something on the bottom, it'll break off and you won't lose your, uh, you know, nice, uh, this is the short bus pole, uh, pole dancer. And uh, I'm going to show you how I attach it to the short bus flasher. I prefer, let's grab a little blade out of here. I like to use these quick change uh, spring loaded clevises from Oregon Tackle. Allow me to change the blades and figure out different colors and stuff like that, you know, pretty quick. And I don't lose them when we uh, hook a fish. And then, of course, another dual snap at the end that I have wound on my leaders. Like I said, for being quick and efficient, hook that guy up there. You're ready to roll. I have a spinner blade, a few beads, a double hook rig that's tied pretty close together. I'll show you why here. So the hook placement I prefer is just above one side of one eye through the carapace. And then I'll bring it out usually right above the eye. What that does is it lets that trailer hook just hang just past the uh, just past the antenna here. Uh, when the fish comes up and grabs that prawn, I'm hoping that that trailer hook's going to grab him in the corner of the mouth. So I set that in there, open the prawn just a little bit, grab your line and just half hitch it just behind the legs and the body. Open it up a little more, go behind a few more legs, open it up a little more. The more twists you have, the more durable the bait's going to be and also the more straight the bait's going to be if you keep opening it up and adding the half hitches. When you get close to the tail, be careful to pull it tight but not enough to rip through the actual tail of the prong. Usually I will put all my, my fingers next to it and pull it somewhat tight. So there's a properly rigged prong. Now, throw this in the water. With this method too, you can also straighten the prawn out more to have it lay down and not twirl. I kind of prefer a slight twirl, which is what you should get here. Or 